Alright guys, how's it going? It's this week's recommended Blender downloads. This is where I scour the internet looking for the best free downloads for your downloading pleasure. All the links in the description down below and we have some crackers this week. Let's kick this off with the Slow Bevel Experimental Blender add-on. Now this comes from the same developer as the Grid Modeler add-on. It's available for free at the moment, but just keep in mind, the developer can change the price at any time, so it's definitely worth getting in there early. Like, I got Welder for free, and now he's charging $10, so there's a quick tip for you. And the next one up is an absolutely amazing resource, and I can't believe some of these add-ons are free. Blender add-on, Auto Mirror X. Now, there is a few commercial ones that you might want to check out as well, but when it comes to the free things, you've got Blender add-on, UV Drag Island, you've got Blender add-on, Mesh Check, Definitely an amazing resource. I'm not even going to pronounce the name because I'll just butcher it. And this is from Oscar. Just throwing this in the mixer here. And it's a free decal pack. Can't grumble. It's available for free. And this is from Julia. I do apologise. I butchered that as well. And this is my base mesh. And it's a free base mesh. It's pretty cool to be honest. And I believe there's actually a few other kind of freebies in there. My ZBrush interface if you're into ZBrush. So the next one up, I believe I actually covered this a few weeks ago, and it's the Blender Ref, a Blender add-on for adding reference images. And it basically just lets you add reference images inside of the Blender UI, and you can quickly swap between them. They also have the voxel draw for Blender 2.8, very nice. And this one is from Andre, and it's the Blender Sci-Fi UI shader. Nice one, mate, thank you very much. I'll download that later on. And this is the Panel Cam Adder. And I think it essentially what it does is it adds a panoramic camera to your scene and it just kind of sets everything up and away you go. Now, I've covered this guy before and they're absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to do it again. He's just released a new character, the Claws character blockout. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe these are for free. You've got things like the horse character as well, the cartoon cap. You've got some very nice base models, all available for free. They all work inside the Blender. Check it out. Now moving over to Dr. Blender, now this is a great resource and obviously he's a YouTuber as well, but you have things like procedural leather shader, metal shader, and they're also limited in terms of how many you can download, so there's only 64 left of this one for example, so maybe you want to get in there nice and early, definitely worth checking it out. So let's move it over to Blender Artist for a quick second, and this is the CSV Model Importer add-on. Now. It's a very strange format to be honest, and it's not something you run into a lot of the time, but it's available for free if you need to import a CSV file. Blender Light Manager, a light manager from Blender, what could go wrong? It's available for free. This Blender add-on provides you with a light list with helpful controls to tweak your lighting. So the last one up, I'm a little bit of a fan of it to be honest, and it's the To Do Task Manager add-on, and it just basically lets you set up a bunch of tasks, and it kind of keeps you informed. It's kind of like keeping notes a little bit easier than that, but it's available for free. Do me a favour guys, please support third party developers and artists. Like video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care. Do, 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 do.